What's up guys? So this is another beer review video that I have for today, Monday, Columbus Day. You know what it is. I got the day off, but I had to use PTO or whatever. And so this is going to be a quick one just because I got to go to work tomorrow. We got three blonde brews in front of us. We got the Spindle Tap Boomtown Blonde. We got the Southern Star. Probably one of like my favorite favorite ones to drink at the moment. You know, the Bombshell Blonde is pretty much in my top five, you know, brews so year round from a local brewery here in Conroe, Texas, Southern Star Brewery. It's, it's amazing, right? And then I got this one that I've been dying to try, the St. Arnold's Headliner. Um, it looks pretty good. And this is actually the one that caught my eye at the Kroger where I get the pick six for $10. You know, you get the pick six out of you know, local breweries from all around Texas. You got Shiner, you got, you know, Spindle Tab, you got Eighth Wonder Brewery, you know, all these different breweries, you know, Cyclers and everywhere, everywhere, you know. Southern Star is there. They got pretty much all their whole lineup there. And this is just gonna be a quick one. I'm not gonna be drinking this one tonight in this video, just cause I know what this one tastes like. So let's get to it. It's gonna be the headliner first. And then we'll do the spindle tap. So, I mean, hopefully, I mean, I, I, I have high hopes for both of them. You know, a really classic blonde brew is, you know, just quenching. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, let's, let's get to it. First taste. You know, all these videos are pretty much my first reaction to the brew itself. I, I haven't had either one of these yet. So, you know, what y'all see is my first reaction to the actual brew. God, took a nice long sip there. It is amazing. That uh, so smooth. It's really smooth. Um, Southern Stars. This one is a lot smoother than Southern Stars. But Southern Stars has this one taste that you know it's just addicting. It, it's amazing because it really just satisfies your like thirst. I want. I want to say you know. Um, you know, I'm just reading this from Untap website. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. I have a little bit of cough or whatever. You got 4.3 alcohol by volume. And it's amazing, man. The taste is just like, imagine a, I wouldn't even say Bud Light, man. I, I actually don't know. It, it's a Bud Light, but stronger. But it doesn't taste like a Bud Light. It's a blonde brew. And I want to say Budweiser either. It's somewhere in the middle, right? I, I mean, it it is just a unique taste to where it's on its own level. It's on its own level. This headliner, Blonde Brew, Blonde Ale, my bad. Blonde Ale, it's, it's really good. That's it for that one. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Spindle Tap Brewery again. Once again, I'm gonna be comparing it to the Southern Star Bombshell Blonde, just cause we call these the blondies here within the boys. Um, these, amazing man. You know, six pack, I'm pretty sure any anywhere they sell six pack of these is gonna be six pack for $10. H-E-B usually has these for $9 for the six pack. I'm pretty sure uh, Houston area, you know, in Houston, HEBs or anywhere, local grocery stores, wherever you might pick up a couple brews, you know, they're pretty much going to be around the same price. Six pack for 10 bucks. They might have a special here or there. So let's jump into the spindle tap. I'm sorry, I have, I have a pretty bad cough. I know the cold beer really doesn't help, but I like to think it helps, you know, a little bit of medicine here and there. So, I mean, let's get to it. Spindle Tap Brewery, first reaction. Ooh, that has a good taste. <coughs> but comparing it to this one, the headliner, the headliner is a lot smoother. This one's actually a lot stronger than the headliner. But I don't think it's a lot stronger than uh, Southern Star's uh, Blonde Brew. Southern Star's Blonde Brew has 5.4 
alcohol by volume. Uh, Spindle Taps has, sorry, I'm trying to look for it real quick. I really don't see, oh, 5%, 5%. So this one is in the middle. First, we got St. Arnold's Headliner. Then we got Spindle Taps, Boomtown Blonde. And then we got the strongest of the three, the Southern Star Bombshell Blonde. And let me tell you, man, all these three blonde brews, they're they're really good. I'm sorry, my camera keeps sliding down. Uh, it's just a tripod. I gotta change it out. All three of these beers go down super smooth, and you will not regret just kicking back, relaxing, and just having a good time with the boys or with the family at dinner. These go. These will go good. With a couple burgers, let me tell you. This one though. This one's the one that surprised me the most. This one is... I, I would actually pick up a six pack of these uh, next time I go to the store. The headliner is just goes down super smooth. Man, it's going to give the bombshell blonde some competition, let me tell you. But these, can't go wrong with these, the blondies. Oh man, and the distinctive logo for the Bombshell Blonde, the classic blonde chick on the bomb itself. I mean, next time you see these at the grocery store, feel free to just pick up a six pack. <laughs> okay, so feel free to pick up a six pack. Uh, support local breweries. Um, I've actually been just on a hunt of trying all these local breweries we have here in Houston, Texas, and Texas itself. Um, I, I will get into the whole countrywide brewery, and man, you know, so many more videos to come. Thanks for watching, you know, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, man. It would I'm, I would really appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending seven, eight minutes of your time with me. And, you know, hopefully these reviews worked out. I mean, I know they're not really helpful. It's just a guy drinking in front of a camera. Like I say, y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for watching. And, you know, uh, got to get up early for work tomorrow. So, thank you. Thank you so much.